Hey guys, my name is Rob. And my name is Shane. And we're going to show you what true village life is like here in Bali, Indonesia. In March 2022, we received an exciting message from one of our followers on Instagram. Gede Ardi. Gede is Balinese, and he told us that he had plans to start a new cultural experience for tourists in Bali. But before opening it up to travelers, he asked us to take part in his program and document our trip. And of course, we agreed. The program takes place in Desa Mangis, which is a small village located in the Karangasam Regency of East Bali. This is not only Gede's home, but also a region of Bali rich in culture and tradition. The program includes a two-day, one-night stay in the village, and is filled with many activities that encompass the daily lives of the local people. From making brown sugar to bathing in the river, this program is meant for travelers who are in search of an authentic and immersive experience. It's real and raw, and connects you with the traditional ways of life in Bali that most visitors never see. Having traveled to many places in Indonesia over the last two and a half years, we're happy to say that this is one of our most riveting trips to date. We truly felt like we were part of Gede's family during our visit, and we deeply respect his mission of trying to show tourists a more authentic side of Bali. So whether you're a foreign tourist or even an Indonesian traveler visiting the island, we hope this video encourages you to take part in this experience. And if not, we hope you at least enjoy getting a glimpse of what life is like in a Balinese village. Hello guys, Salamat pagi and good morning from here in Desa Mangis. You guys can see we are out here in the jungle, thick jungle, all the bugs and insects going on. And we're gonna walk you through Gade's house right here and just give you a quick layout of the area and I'm gonna let Shane do it. All right guys, here we are at the entrance of the house. It's walled in, beautiful gate. Let's come on in. So right here, as soon as you enter on the right, we have the temple, which is one of the most important aspects of the homes here in Bali. You can see it's beautiful and ornate. Now we're gonna take you guys to the rooms. So these are actually the rooms that we've been staying in currently. Here's a common area right here. Family pictures from the day, grandpa there, his parents right here. Right there. <laughs> right here. Terima kasih, Pa. <laughs> and we have a very simple setup, guys, here. Two mattresses on the ground, basic. One other room here to the side, more traditional bed. We'll set up like that. Nice and comfy. This is where you guys are gonna be staying. Here near the back of the house, we actually have the washroom where they do some laundry, take their showers, and use the restroom. Boom. All right, guys, this is a traditional kampung bathroom. So you have your squat toilet right here. Get down on your business, a little John Cook. <laughs> and then here you have a water basin where you take your showers, guys. Now we're gonna take you guys into the kitchen. Oh wow, so we're in the family kitchen right now. See they have a small little stove going right here. All their firewood, little preparation areas over there. Tons of supplies. Chickens right here. <laughs> nice ayam kampung. And then besides the traditional kitchen back here, they also have a little bit more modern kitchen. They have some normal burners little stove top as you can see. So they usually do some cooking back here as well. And now everyone's just hanging out, Kampung style, oh, sitting, no, no. having a kopi. We're here with our friends. Good day. Antonio's back. Panda's in the hey, vlog, our friend Panda. Up? And good day. We're sitting having a kopi, kopi dulu, yeah? But seven tar, we're gonna go to the Ayat Terjun, so let's go. We just parked the bikes here. We're getting ready to go to the Ayat Terjun. But guys, check this out. Huge statue of Dewa Brahma. You can see Antonio there to give you some perspective. And guys, I don't think any tourists know about this in Bali. I mean, look. Antonio! We are the first bule here, maybe. Now that we're up at the top next to the statue here, this really crazy view of Chani Dasa and the beaches out all the way in East Bali. <laughs> This whole area is really amazing. Now that we're finished up with the statue here, we're gonna make our way to the waterfall. 
So most of the villages here in Bali, especially the ones as you get higher up north, they all have their secret waterfalls. And this is the one here at Desamangis, just outside. So not many people are visiting here, but we are deep in the jungle, guys, and we are getting close. Let's check it out. So over here on the adjacent side of the waterfall, you actually have some holy springs, some holy waters. And it's for temples, certain cleanses and whatnot. And just behind me on the other side, you have the super tall Ayaterjun Jagasatru. Woo! Look at that. And now, it's time to go for a mandi. So these holy waters behind me are actually used to cleanse and purify your soul of evil spirits. And what you do is start all the way here to the right and go from stream to stream all the way to the end. Now, we're actually at one of G'day's family members' houses. I'm gonna walk you guys in here. The boys are already in. Woo! In Woo! the jungle. Terra. We're gonna get sugar and arak and we're gonna be yeah. here. Arak besok, arak besok. Okay, besok, besok. Jadi, remember what this is, yeah? Yeah, so it built on separate place from the main kitchen. Oh. So it's kind of hot. So oh. this is the raw one, uh, which is not finished yet. So they're still uh, making it to be a bit thicker. Masak dulu, ya? Yeah. Masak. Masak dulu. Panas. Panas. So, gula merah, which is the brown sugar, and arak, which is the traditional Balinese alcohol, are actually made from the same precursor. So what they do is they take buckets and put them at the top of a pohon kalapa or a coconut tree and they let the buckets collect the liquid that's coming out of the tree over the course of a few days. Then they take that liquid and start the process to either make the brown sugar or the ara. So just behind me is actually G'day's uncle. He climbs these trees two times a day. His first session he climbs 16 trees and then later in the afternoon he climbs another eight. He's 60 years old, he's so strong, you can see his arms, there's these insane muscles that I've never seen before. No! <laughs> no! Okay guys, and now Pa is climbing up this huge tree. That was insane. That was one of the craziest things. Dude, unbelievable. <laughs> Ridiculous. We I think this thing to the first one. Not even the first one. Yeah. We think this thing's about 30 so meters, about 100 feet, give or take. The the risk is crazy. Antonio, are you going on next? No, I don't wanna. I I, I, I was thinking I'm gonna try, but this this is impossible, guys. So guys, once you get to the top of the tree, these are the buckets that are hanging there, and these are the ones that are collecting all the liquid from the tree. They swab them out, bring them down continue on with the process. The Balinese make this little concoction right here which comes from a little bit of juices from the jackfruit and that gets mixed in with the liquid that comes directly from the tree. Now this concoction is added initially because it's going to prevent fermenting. You're going to cook this to give you your gula merra or your brown sugar. But if you take this directly from the tree, it is so delicious. And let's let all the guys try it so you can see what it tastes like. Oh my goodness, it's like sugar cane. Yeah. It's like a sugar cane. I grow up with this, bro. You love it, bro. Ah. Mmm. That's straight from the tree. It's like sugar cane. Oh, 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 this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to share it with these guys. It's crazy. It's from the tree and it's exactly like sugar yeah. cane. It's exactly. That's good. Wow. Is it, is wow. it similar to the, the first one you tried? I think I like, I think this tastes better. Yeah. It is, wow. Stop, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I like how it's crisp and cold. Yeah. It's like, I would it's sip like on, water, yeah, I would though. sip it's on this like at the beach. So in order to make the brown sugar, they cook over an open fire for about 30 minutes until it really thickens up and we'll show you what that looks like. It's 
so good. It's, it's crispy, right? Mm -hmm. But it, it's already done, right? It's finished. Yeah, so oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh baby, <laughs> yeah. I love brown sugar. Yeah, it's, so it's like good. it's like Asian caramel, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like yeah. the best skin so candy hot. ever. It will, like, oh my god, crunchy. it's like a praline. Yeah. It's so soft. Yeah, like a praline. Like a praline, like right? Like a praline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, beautiful. We got the gula mera bungus bungus. Oh my god, we're gonna get half the whole thing. It's as big as my tiny head. Bro. Panda, you wanna take a bite of this or what, bro? Come on. No, no, with the little Not the bro. But ayo makan, makan siang, let's go eat some lunch. Ayo. We are finished with that gula merra, that brown sugar. We are, we are on fire, you know? <laughs> because sugar, na, 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 na. Suda Kambali, we have returned to Gade's house and we've got quite a meal set up for us. You want to give us the food here? Yeah. yeah. So, um, we provide the lost boys and the gangs with the very traditional food from Karangasam. It's called uh, Plecheng Klingis okay. and also uh, shrimp paste uh, sambal. Chicken. Whoa! Oh. Alright, what's up? Ready for that? Tarasi? Tarasi? Yeah. Some tarasi. Yeah. Oh, ready for that? Makanasi, bakai. Saya, saya punya, saya punya pertanya. Pedas? Sediki, sediki. I don't trust. Sediki could be like this. This, this is already a little bit pedas. I'm gonna try the chicken. Chicken enak, enak saya suka lah. Mantap. Panda looking like a true endo. Makan pakai tangan. So good. Little drummer. Oh boy. How about Carl? Is it good? Whoever cooked this, who cooked this? The chef. Mom. Mom. Oh. Okay, you boo. This is this is chicken tender off the bone. Tapi enak pakai tangan selalu. For the plucking, plucking. Ah, plucking klingis. Klingis. That's delicious. Let's get up close and personal, guys. Oh my god. The chicken is perfect. This is heaven, guys. Well, that was delicious. We are finished eating, but now it's time to take a shower because it's about four or five o'clock. But here in the village, they don't often shower in the bathroom in their own home. They go and shower in the river. So we're gonna walk you there and tell you a little bit about it. We've got about a five minute walk here through the jungle, all the way down to where the shower station is on the river. And Gade actually told us that last year is when they finally installed pipes with running water into the village. So before that, they never really had running water going directly into their shower rooms. And everyone usually showers in the river and goes around this time, so four or five o'clock. And even though they've recently got water pipes installed here last year, sometimes the water doesn't make it all the way down to the bottom of the village where some of the homes are. And people are so accustomed to just going and showering in the river together. It's kind of like a communal experience that a lot of people continue to do that to this day. Baby always fell. Hold on, hold on. How you doing? Hold on, baby. You're gonna need, a, uh, you're gonna need that right hand. <laughs> There's a balancing act you got going on. And I wanna go down there. <laughs> We are coming up to where the shower station is. And they built a bit of a brick wall that drops off so the water flow can drop evenly down. You can kind of have your own nice little shower. We're gonna go in there and take a Mondi. Trust me, I've been around this guy all day. He stinks. <laughs> The first shower I've had in a week. Alright? Lather it up. Let's go. Ding in, bro. Ding in. It's a bit Ding in, bro. Ding in, bro. So that was a fresh Mandi Sungai shower in the river. We are now trekking back through the jungle 
walking back to Gade's and it's time to start cooking for dinner. Shawar, Monday is spectacular! And now we're gonna be doing some traditional Balinese cooking. And what we're making is the sate lilies right here. We have the sticks, the two souks, and here is our concoction. So we have chicken, flour, and an assortment of other spices. You have onions, garlics, genchur. We're gonna mash it up on the stick. Get to work, boys. Let's go. We're trying to eat. She got very spicy. These people. That's nice. All the seeds, man. Can't forget the seeds. You're turning around the, the steak. So it looks similar like what you ate in the restaurant. <laughs> oh, no, nowhere near as good, bro. I need a little bit more. How are you doing, bro? Let's see. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so, this oh, like look at that. Wow. Yeah, that is, you know, this, this was that's like, perfect. Listen, like this is okay or is too much? Ah, uh, yeah, it, that's okay. It's for, okay? For, for, begin, no for the first time, it's, for beginning, it's okay, right? That's fine. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. Pan, is, pan is on. Yeah. Pan, pan is on. Nice. Yeah, it's not it's my nice. first rodeo. Yeah. That's probably 9 to 10. Hey, let's go. <laughs> so Panda and Shane are still rolling out the raw meat, getting the satay sticks ready. Antonio's cooking over here with Pa, getting it sorted. I'm and trying, I'm trying to cook it. <laughs> and Kamang already eaten one, yes? Sudamakan. <laughs> this is pretty cool though, right in the courtyard here, just cooking. Look, mm. I don't know. Ini, oh, Yeah, yeah. Sedigi, lagi. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, oh my oh. God. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I like to see when. Uh, since suffering. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make the world's nicest peanut sauce. Woo! Mix it all up. That's it. That's it. Timon? Timon. Yeah. Samoa. Yeah. Samoa. It up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Money shot. Oh. Oh. Use, your, use your hand. That's the clever. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this traditional way of eating is known as Mugibung. Mugibung is believed to have been created by the king of Karangasam in the late 17th century to bring a deeper sense of community among his soldiers. Since then, Mugibung has spread into the homes of many Balinese and regularly takes place during traditional and religious ceremonies. All of the food is served on one platter and circled by up to eight individuals. Everyone eats with their hands and is only allowed to take from what is directly in front of them. When you are finished eating, you must remain seated until everyone else has finished as well. We really enjoyed being part of this traditional way of eating and truly feel it brought everyone closer while enjoying a meal together. We're gonna be drinking some arrak, which is a local traditional alcohol from here in Bali. Tomorrow, we're gonna show you how it's made, but tonight, we're gonna drink it. Cheers. Hey, salud. Salud. Yeah. Salud. Life is now, guys! <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Antonio. I'm here with these guys, but last night we drink a lot and now I don't know what. Salamat pagi, good morning. 
Day two in the carpool, baby. Yeah, we Good recovery from the auto. <laughs> we're feeling all right, we're now feeling all right. Yes, and now we are out here in the jungle, guys, because we are cutting some grass to feed to the cows up in the rice fields. So we're going to work. Look at Antonio, though. Antonio, how you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, bro. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm working in the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> Now with this we feed the cow and after we eat the cow. This is, <laughs> is life. What can we do? It wraps around. So this cow is about seven years old. So they plan on raising it, letting it have babies, sell the babies, and then they plan on actually selling this cow when it reaches around 20 years old. Now that we're done feeding the cow, getting our future rendong ready and prepped, it's time to go get some arak. We saved the best for last. You saw us drinking it last night, but it's time to show you guys how arak is made. Now, arak is very famous here in the Karangasim Regency of East Bali, and many families make it in the back of their homes. So we're actually at a local home in the area, walked through the jungle there behind me, and now we're coming into the backyard where they make arak back there. So in these jugs, they collect the sap from the palm tree, the same way they make the gula mera, and they put it in these barrels to ferment for a certain period of time. After it's done fermenting, they bring it here to boil up. Everything's gonna evaporate, run down this tube all the way down, and drip into your final project over there. We drank a lot last night, but... Manchaba, yeah? Some more. Yeah, some up. Some up. Hey! Wow, that's that good. That's one. That's um, <laughs> it. Come on, come on. Yes, best, best. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, because we have three plates. We have three plates. Siapa nama anda, Pak? Mitri, asyik ketuk. 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 Okay, vamos. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Okay. Dos, <laughs> yeah? Anda minu mini, saya minu mini. Come on, come on. Dos. Enak, enak. Well guys, that's gonna close out this video and our time here in Desa Mangis. We really hope you guys enjoyed the video and we hope that this gave an accurate representation of how some of the locals live here in Bali. And again, we encourage you all, if you're planning to visit Bali and you wanna take part in this immersive experience, please reach out to Gade. He plans to have this tour all set up next year in early 2023 and we'll put all of Gade's information down in the description below for you to check out. Again, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit us with a like and a subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.